Peace and reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at? Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. My voice is messed up. Yes, it is. So I'm going to try to fight through this um, recap of Swamp versus a verb. Um, obviously, I was in the building for this particular battle. Um, we know the history already. Two years in the making of this one. A lot of conversations about time limits and things of the nature. And let me just hop on the time limits, right? So, Rosenberg Raw puts out there the time limits between Swamp and Averb, right? Round one, we got Swamp with four minutes, 33 seconds. We got Averb, three minutes, 10 seconds. Uh, round two, we got Swamp with 613. And we got Verb with 245, right? Then the third round, we got um, Swamp with 557 and Verb with 243. Now, obviously, round two and round three, the time limit part issues is that a large margin, right? Now, this is where it gets dicey because I see people saying a lot of things about time limits, right? On one spectrum, you got people saying in a grudge match, there should never be time limits in a grudge match. And I agree with that to a full, full extent, right? Then you got other people saying, like, well, when we get paid to do a battle, right? And we get paid for a certain amount of minutes, if I'm gonna rap longer, that's more money, right? Now, if you look through Averb's career, right? He's always pretty much stuck to the time limits because he said this to me on numerous interviews. Three, I'm not. If I get paid to rhyme a certain amount of minutes, that's what we're doing. If you want me to rap more, you got to pay more. He said this to me numerous times before spaces, this is during interviews. I'm talking about 2014, 15, 16. He's always let that be known in terms of time limits, right? So, does Remy play a part in this way also where she should like cut people off? Should Swamp have been cut off? Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all feel Swamp should be cut off? Or do you feel Verb should have cut him off? Or is Remy Ma really gonna um, tell Cup somebody off when she paid for a battle? I don't think she's gonna do that on the flip side, right? Uh, obviously, another thing is the the room, the room. Now, I did tell Verb before the battle that, yo, living here in South Florida, that a lot of people rock with Swamp, right? No disrespect to other South brothers in battle rap, but the way he talks, the way he enunciates words, they adapt to Swamp a little more. Now, to me, Swamp played a little chess here. I think Swamp saw what Averb and them did at Max Out 3 and how deep St. Louis was out there. They was out there deep. And he said, yo, I'm gassing up this whip and we going to Miami mall deep, right? Fam, I saw people in the crowd. There's one brother had a Swamp has his Swamp right here, right? You can hear them saying, oh, you better act like you know where you at. Also on the flip side. I pull up to the event Sunday, right? And I walk inside and I notice it's very packed already. And I'm like, the battle didn't even start yet. I was so packed. Now, as I'm walking around the venue, I'm like, I don't see avocado. I don't see no faces in here that resemble battle rap. They playing music. So I step outside and I'm like, what's going on? So I see avocado. T Top, John John, King, Jay Moore, a bunch of other people over there in the cut, right? Come to find out there's a already a there's already a um on Sunday afternoons that Studio 182 Studio 183 has a venue for people to come vibe, almost like a brunch almost, right? So I'm like, okay, this should be interesting. So in my mind, I'm like, is the owner gonna kick them out and let the culture come in? And that's what we gotta clash with with the culture of battle rap and the people that's the patrons that were already in attendance. 
And when those two, when these two worlds meet, it's gonna be a clash. That's why we noticed through the battle, I was doing this a lot through the battle. And a lot of us are like, yo, chill. Because they were doing a lot of heavy talking. And the people that were doing talking, they're not really part of the culture, right? Now, a lot of talking through the battle, I'm not gonna lay, I'm, I'm not gonna front on that. Um, let's get into the battle itself, man. Um, first round, Swamp sets it off. Um, first thing Swamp said is, now, this is the South. And I keep saying that this is the South. This is the, this, this region rocks with his brother heavy. When I'm in the streets and people ask me about Swamp and Verb, you got people telling me, you know, Verb is a legend, but you know, I'm going with Swamp. Whether it's biases or not, they ride him with Swamp because where he from, right? Um, also, Swamp had a cigarette in his hand. I thought that was kind of interesting that Swamp had a cigarette in his hand. <laughs> like almost, I think, did he like the cigarette up? Try to remember if he liked the cigarette up. Because when I saw him, I laughed and I chuckled. And if, when he packed a cigarette, I'm like, he had a pack of cools. And I'm like, okay, I know Verb has attacked him for smoking on stage. So is he gonna attack him for that? He just played along with that, right? Um, they keep asking how I get into this house with the elites. I kicked down the door the minute I shot the keypad on the gate code. I liked all that. Uh, disrespectful, I would take it back. Wait, he said disrespectful, I would take it back. Wrong Carolina nigga, I ain't J. Cole. Um, the A war battle, take it to the grave. Like O.J. Simpson line was cool. Uh, the Brazilian wax line was solid. Um, the Guardian Angel duck nothing line. Like he took some of Verb's lines and he freaked him a little bit, you know what I mean? And the crowd was really rocking with Swamp in the first round, man. The Obalaka line, obviously the crowd went crazy with that particular line, especially when you have 305 niggas in the building. It just is, right? And um, Swamp's first round was solid to me, man. You know, um, Verb's first round. Now, I know there was people surrounding um, me saying it sounded like um, Verb was whispering when he was rapping and stuff. But I, Verb to me, he's always been saying is that I'm sticking true to what I do, which is the camera. Like a lot of battle rappers, I feel some, like I feel surf, hit man, they always talk about, you know, in the building, right? And then you got other battles, rappers, maybe the Chiller Jones of the world, A Verb is one of them, where they emphasize rapping for the camera, right? Um, Verb says, F you nigga, I don't retract who I am live. Here's who I am on, on this net. I don't like you. I will never try, will never vibe, won't chat. I'm everything that, that weak ass. Oh, pardon me, my bad, y'all. He said, F you nigga, I don't retract who I am live. Here's who I am on this net. I don't like you. I will never try, will never vibe, won't chat. I'm everything that weak ass like from your life don't attract. I, one thing about Verb, his way on words and the, and the word play he has is always dope, man. Um, Ussy, I will viral impact. Talk your shit, but change pitch when it's my time to bat. You know, take your talk your shit, change your pitch when it's my time to bat. Um, use a bitch, Swamp, I can see through your disguise on this app. Use a bitch, nigga. That's the secret to your grind. When you trapped, was going to teach you how to move and maneuver through this manure. But only fools try to clean up some shit you scoop up from the sewer. I thought that was dope, man. Because we've heard conversations about Swamp and Verb when they, you know, Swamp says that Verb try to, uh, paraphrasing, take him under the wing or try to get some advice from Verb, right? And for, for Swamp, to, for Verb to say, you know, was going to teach you how to move and maneuver through this maneuver, quantum battle rap, this maneuver of the culture, this maneuver of the leagues, this maneuver, right? But only fools try to clean up some shit you scoop up from the sewer. Um, got in front of Reed and became a deer. See you backwards. That line was solid. The standby line also was solid. Uh, 
to leave this MIA line was hard also. Then he had some Beasley bars, right? Now, in my opinion, this is the most debatable round. I'm not doing no mother F pity rounds because y'all see me up in the spaces with Verb. Or me and Swap are cool too. I'm not, uh, me and Swap are cool. So let me not act right and everything. But I got Verb edging this first round, son. Mind you, it's the most debatable round. But I, when, when, I'm sorry, when Verb went into that, use a bitch swap, I can see through your disguise and apps. Use a bitch thinking that secret. He did all that. I liked all that. I'm not taking nothing away from Swamp. Now, what's ill is this. In the building, I felt Swamp got that first round. In the building. As I watched this battle three times now and writing down the bars, I got Verb edging the first round, right? Second round now, um, Swamp. You be the man on Twitter when you be up in them spaces, but not the man when I pull up and really be in them spaces. I'm talking all up in their faces. Step for step, I could damn near feel their laces. I could damn near feel their laces. I like that, yo. Ain't no checking me. They don't even check for receipts when I'm walking out of Walmart. Um, I don't give a about accolades or your acknowledgement. I don't care about your accomplishments. I don't care about your no conscious Black Panther or some Wakanda shit. I will really check your effing chin and keep checking like a pot of grits. I like that also. Um, then you got an easy and everything. So over 100, my blood pressure up line. You know, it makes it worse for easy and everything like that. Um, you not from the streets, mother effer. You the office type. I effer around an office type. I don't care who laid down the foundation. I wait until they get off the office right. They make it my business to pull up and extend on, extend owners for office rights. That was fire by Swamp, yo. The Facebook call line was solid. Um, the punches on the left, right line was cool too. The Yoshi line I liked also. Need more than extensions and weave line. Once again, taking verb stuff. And kind of um, freaking it in a sense, right? Um, and yes, bad news and funds was wild. It was this Carolina shit. I put footage on my camera, on my, on my channel, with um, funds saying we here now was good and everything like that. And the, the, the Carolina side, um, swamp side was deep. I ain't gonna hold you, swamp side. It was actually D, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, <clears throat> um, bitch, I'm from South Carolina where the dope shooters is dope shooters. So for an ice pack, I can get a hit man. That was because he said he was saying that you don't got a hit man on your resume. You don't got an ice pack on your resume. And he freaked that, right? And some of the one liners I like from Swamp also. This shit been bubbling, Montclair. Montclair, Jack Bubble, and Montclair. I like Swap second round a lot, man. It's second round. I'm um, also. Um, verb second round. Um, if cutting grass is your main bag, clearly your life do struggle. Because grown men can't make careers out no high school hustles. If you lay down mulch with the workers, jerk, how you the boss? Because where the F does the boss do the dirty work? That was crazy. This is what I'm saying. Y'all would say things in battle rap, like, oh, Swamp ain't saying nothing, or Verb ain't saying nothing. But if I'm writing down the bars and I'm telling you what I like, I'm, I can only do my job. I'm I'm here. I'm 14 minutes in, and I'm giving y'all bars from both these individuals that I liked. Well, maybe I didn't like. Um, We both gonna leave this earth. Either way, nigga, earn a dirt. Went into that bag. Should I mask and take... Wait, should I mask and tape? Mask it, mask and tape. Now I'm making two eagles. I liked all that. The moving gears line was solid. Can on real nigga raps looking ain't no. We said can on real nigga raps looking at no cubic airs because you know Aaron he's trying to you know, Verbas taking shots at um, Swamp's jewelry for the years whatever. Um, Verb did his showtime and trying to get it off a little bit and you can tell him stun somebody in the crowd yo chill. And stuff. Even Swamp a couple of times was telling people in his cab to cool out a little bit, though, right? Um, he verb took a shot at Nunu. Um, no name flips. 
All y'all names to me is bitch ass niggas. Sound the alarm off. Fuck everybody. Bitch porn star. Target. Orange tall. Corn dog. Corn ball rapping niggas. You soft as yarn ball. Arm bars. Got you acting different. Active niggas. All get laid in a box like an action figure. Like the average nigga. <laughs> that nigga said no name flips. All y'all names to me is bitch ass niggas. Sound the alarm off. Fuck everybody, bitch. Porn star. Target. Orange tall, corn dog, corn ball rapping niggas. You soft as yarn ball. Arm bars got you acting different. Active niggas all get laid in the box like an action figure. Like the average nigga. Now, I have Swamp getting the second round. And you got to understand something. When you're rapping 613 and, and, and verbally rapping 244, 245 and you're getting more bars off, regardless if you have either substance in your bars, He's getting more minutes off than you, right? I got Swamp getting round two. Um, round three. Um, now, you see Calico caught a stray, you know, Calico. I think, they, I think it was the second round or third round when Cal stood behind Verb. I think it was the second round of Swamp rapping, right? Um, the Chrome Full Circle line by Swamp was cool. Um, plug Talk by Swamp. Drug Talk by Swamp. This battle rap shit got y'all head effed up. Y'all mind gone. I'll be ready to spin and keep spinning like a cyclone. Y'all be comparing how far y'all went to how far I've gone. I'll be trying to compare how my fiends travel for crack rock. Those were my milestones. That, I, that was dope. That was dope. The trees hammock line I like from Swamp. It's mother effers like him who act like we not here to talk from Swamp because you say, you know, you act like, you know, because I'm, you guys have been there so long and, you know, y'all act like there's no, there's not no killers out here. Uh, to every cardinal cap behind you, I got a desert eagle. I like that. And then there was 3 0 chance, right? Now, 3 0 chance is in verb, you don't rap yet, but they gave him 0 chance, right? Cannot, cannot disparage and ignore that it was 3-0 chance in the building, right? Because we talk about Verb getting 3-0 chance for Lux. We talk about Verb getting 3-0 chance for Mook. So we're going to talk about a 3-0 chance at, at, in the building also, right? Um, now, I like what, what Swamp did right here, bro. The Kevin Samuels, he had a Kevin Samuels line, right? But what was so interesting about the Kevin Samuels line is that he looked at Remy Ma to say only to come to, to a woman and get a check. Like, you trying to say, you're a male chauvinist that you be on your Kevin Samuels shit, but you're here collecting the check from the same woman woman that you get on, right? I thought that was dope, man. Um, holding on to Usher, like he's at halftime. Uh, the expert with the, um, the new, cool, new talk, you know, Verb is saying that, you know, you got a virginity taken away from him, and then Verb, I mean, Swamp took that and finessed it again, right? And he said, I took the cook new and, and been an expert with it, right? Because there's only two things when you're going through like that as a young boy. is either you, you're traumatized or you turn to an expert, <laughs> you know? So you can make the argument. This is Swamp's best round. You can. Um, the wig rocker line. Um, and then the you and Hitman walking around with these fake ass teeth. Bitch, I got real choppers. That was a haymaker. That was a room shaker in the building, right? Um, and then he went into a, without my name in it angle. And then he said, this nigga from Pagedale, his hood ain't shit without my name in it. You know, Swamp's last name is Page. And Verb was from Pagedale. That was very clever on Swamp's part. And to way to end the round, I thought, right? Um, Verb's third round. Now, Verb went into an angle about KCJ and said, you know, you know, now Verb did go into spaces a while ago. I remember him alluding to Swamp messing around with somebody in URL and, you know, Beasley and them didn't like it. So he talked about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, with someone in URL and the reason they don't rock with you, you know, other than the master, the mistress talk, the master, the master, um, mistress talk was dope. As soon as he saw you look at her ass, after vengeance, that nigga took you out the picture because she liked your image. Took you out the picture image. Mm -hmm. um, the Carolinas will never be major factory. Y'all miners. Uh, the still pull 
up with that bitch like, he said, still pull up with that bitch like I'm at the drive-in. Can't be the king of the South if you don't pack your house. Now, Verb, I gotta get pushed back on that line, brother. You said, can't be the king of the South if you don't pack the house. The brother did pack the house, though, man. You know what I mean? The mama fucked this nigga. Um, and that was interesting after the battle because I asked Verb, can they shake hands after the battle, right? And if memory serves me, I think Verb and Ward dapped up after the battle. And did it shock me that Verb extended the olive branch to Swamp? And I am the guy, we went to war. I'm not surprised. Now, was I shocked a little bit that Swamp acted like he didn't want to dap up Swamp? I mean, Verb, a little bit, though. Because I know, I, yo, Verb can make you hate him, bro. Let's just call it what it is, bro. And I think what Verb does is try, what he does is that. He'll act like he hates you, but he don't really, I don't think Verb hates these niggas. It's just how he's wired and the way he sells the battle. Gotta be honest, this nigga sold the battle more than anybody, more than Remy he did. He sold Max out more than ARP. But I got Swamp winning this battle 2-1. I got Verb round one. I got Swamp two and three. You know what I mean? We're not doing no pity rounds here. Two, one. You dig what I'm saying? So... If you feel different, do what I did. Take time, break down the bars. I'm not perfect in everything I do. I'm not like my my verdict is holier than thou, right? So if you got verb winning, you got verb winning. You got swamp winning, you got swamp winning, right? Do I think it's a body bag? No, I do not think. I do not think it's a body bag. Do not. You know what I mean? Um, but I got swamp two one. You know what I mean? Um, I was looking at the time limits again. You know, it was a big and verb. I don't know. Moving forward, what are you gonna do about that, King? Are you gonna um, get on the league owners and say, yo, listen, how much we getting paid for? Because you got to understand, those Swamp, you did a lot to Swamp. And remember, I understand the tactics where you saying that, you know, I wasn't going to make this battle longer or try to extend minutes on this because you felt Swamp has a tendency to jam, jam up. But he, he did not jam up. And I, and I not, only reason I'm not surprised he didn't jam up her because of how heavy you talk. You did what I'm saying? And, you know, things of that nature. So I don't know moving forward. Or are you gonna cut people off yourself like how Big K does certain people? Or Rex does. You know, we saw Rex against Cortez. Rex is not playing that shit. You dig what I'm saying? Rex is not playing that. So, you know what I mean? Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. It's your boy three. One.